Four steps to raise your credit score. That's the topic today, and it is timely given the high interest rates and high prices we've got in today's real estate market. Stay tuned. In times of high prices and high mortgage rates, there's not a lot of strategic advantage that home buyers have. They're paying top dollar and their payments are up there because of where these interest rates are today. But one place that buyers can get an advantage is working on their credit score and improving that. And what we're going to give you today are four things that you can do to work on getting that credit score up so that if you're in the market now or getting ready to get there in weeks and months ahead, your credit score will be up which means better loan programs and better interest rates. First thing that you can do, get a copy of your credit reports and go over them. Look for any mistakes. Look for any old credit issues that should have been removed and get that cleaned up. A lot of times it's just simply an error on one's credit report that causes that score to be down and affects their ability to, to maximize their advantage in an interest-based market. The second thing that you can do is never utilize more than 35% of your maximum credit allocation. And so what do I mean by that? If you've got a credit card that's $10,000 balance, don't ever get that balance over $3,500. Now use it up to that amount and pay it down or pay it off and use it up to that amount, but keep that more credit allocation shows that you've got that a good ratio and that you're credit worthy. And so that is a way to show that you're on time with your payments and that you are a good credit handler and then people will be more likely or you'll get a better credit, maybe better loan. Third thing, and this is going to sound counterintuitive or a little contradictory because in general you probably shouldn't apply for credit that you don't need and that's kind of what the mindset would be. But actually applying for new credit in many cases will actually help your score because it will increase your uh, credit, your capital allocation or your capital boundary, which will decrease your credit allocation as we were just talking about above, and that will improve your credit score. And then the final thing that you can do, well, we also think that paying off debts or, or paying off credit card balances is a good thing. Actually keeping a balance on your credit card is good because you pay that card off and eliminate it, and that is a new event in and of itself, which will have an impact on your credit score. So there's good, positive, and some counterintuitive things that are actually good too that you can do to make that credit score go up and maybe open yourself up to some better loan programs, some additional loan programs with some better rates, especially in a market of high interest rates where you can get yourself ahead and get a little more house or a little better payment in today's market. Hope this has been helpful. Get that credit score up and have a great day.